Okay, so first thing we're going to do here is just to take a look at the principle behind how to create this shader and how to get it to work for us. To start off, choose the voxel sculpting option on the title um, screen and from the options available to you choose the middle sphere. Now I've already got one that's uh, been using previously so that's why my shader is set like this but you may have something like this at the moment which is fine and what we need is a special kind of shader because there's many many different types in here uh, we, we're looking for a shader uh, with the title of pick matte on there if you can see that little pop up there when it pops up you can see you've got a preview and the title of it is pick matte so that's the kind of um, shader that you need to be able to do this so once you've found that one in your shaders list right click and from the menu choose construct new shader and from there you want to give it a title so we'll call it um, I'll just call it iTest2 because I've done a previous test and once you've clicked OK it will then ask you for a texture. If you've got these options open here use cavity and flat shading you can just close those down by unchecking those boxes we don't really need these extra options at this stage and what the option you do need is this one here called choose texture so click on that click OK again and find your matte cap eye image now I'll give a link in the description to download this file or you can go into Photoshop and, and create your own it's just a 2d image um, and you can do different designs for the iris and different colors for the eyeball itself etc but once you've got this one then select open and you can see in the background it's already applied that so all we need to do now is just uh, click OK so once that's selected a couple of things to just be mindful of um, in the top of the menu here you can see this um, contrast lighting make sure that this um, just toggle this on and off because yours may be set um, and you may be getting something like this and if you double click on this option again you'll get the right color blue you're, you're after obviously this this type of blue not the darker one and it's this option that, that you may have or may not have, have clicked so it's just if you do get a darker version of the eyeball if you're using this image that I've provided for you then one of the places to look is is this option here also to the right of this option you see this little light bulb um, this can be set as well so if it's a little bit too dark like this just check that option and bring it back up to roughly 100% will do so once that's in and it's looking like what we've got here in front of us the next thing that um, you need to do is create a new layer here so we've got our eyeball but we need the skin around the eyeball or the sculpted part of this eye so coming over to your vox tree here I'll create a new layer and on this layer I'm going to hit spacebar and primitives and choose this again another sphere object for the skin that's going round now make sure you've got your orthographic view set up here we don't want the perspective we want an orthographic view and holding a 
as I'm orbiting around and hold shift it snaps and then I can come in here and just alter the size of this new primitive object well, like so and just get roughly the same outline as what I've got on here it really determines the, the kind of the thickness of the skin around the eyeball so obviously if you have it really thick then you're going to have a very thick coarse uh, eyelid going around the eyeball so this is roughly okay for what we need so with that set hit apply choose a different tool just to deselect and this obviously isn't a very good skin color here so I'm going to go down to my default tab here and choose this green one called frog skin and if we just zoom in you can see it's got a nice sort of skin texture to it okay so this layer is my frog skin layer just turn it off so you can see underneath we've still got the eyeball so to make this easier let's just name these so I'll call this layer frog skin and I'll call the layer beneath eyeball and what I need to do now is to cut a shape out of the frog skin to reveal the eyeball underneath so let's move this around to the side and choose the cutoff tool make sure that this tool called the vertex lasso tool is selected and with the frog skin layer selected I'll just position my cutoff point there and just create this kind of a triangle shape here and cut out a section of the frog skin layer so now when I orbit around you can see that that eye is looking directly at me as I'm working so if I just zoom out position what I'll do here is I'll parent the eyeball to the frog skin layer so I'll select the eyeball right click from the drop down menu change parent and select frog skin now you can see that frog skin is now above the eyeball so select the parent the frog skin layer right click again and this time I'm going to choose clone clone instance which is going to duplicate this hierarchy here and place an instance of that below so now I can move my instanced copy over to the side I'll deselect the tool zoom in again and now when I orbit around I've got the eyes looking at me like so okay so that's the theory behind it we need our sphere objects like so with the eye shader created and applied to each of those objects the skin around this is the if you will the, the sculptable layer so if I'm going to sculpt on this layer uh, let's just choose this brush here if I want to sculpt on this layer I can do I think I'm on the wrong layer there it's this one isn't it and you can see that it's going to update on the instance so I can put extra folds of skin in here something like that so what I'll do now is just pause the video and I'll bring in um, a different head shape with the same uh, eye setup so you can see this um, and the effect it has as you're sculpting so we can see here we've got a, a different sculpt now and but we're using this exactly the same 
uh, technique that we used before with the eye shaders. You can see here I've got a separate layer, voxel layer, with the eyes, um, and the eyes have got this um, uh, shader attached to them. But as you move around your sculpt and you're working on different areas of the sculpt, you can see that you get a lot of uh, personality coming through in the sculpt by having those eyes constantly focused on you. So by changing it, it adds to the character. If I, for example, change these to the same shader that the sculptor's got, then you see the it's the eyes are kind of dead and uh, it doesn't really um, express anything to you when you're when you're sculpting. I mean obviously it is a you know you don't need this you know you can imagine and you uh, you can ima imagine the eyeballs in there you don't actually need or you can just um, you can just design some sort of pupil in there and, and sculpt a little pupil in there if you, if you want to but this is a, a really fast way of just getting a very quick result a very expressive result with very little work so that's it I hope you found it useful and um, hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching